Dave Epp here with Epp Foundation Repair, and today we're going to talk about how does a drain tile system work. So, a lot of you are pretty familiar with either a basement and or a crawl space, and that's typically where you're going to run into some form of drain tile. I've got a quick uh, graphic here drawn up. This is this right here represents the footing down here, and then this is the foundation wall. And then up here would be the floor, you know, the first floor where it'd be. So this would be down in the basement. Now, typically on new construction, you're gonna have drain tile down here, okay? And you're gonna have drain tile right here, all right? All drain tile is, is it's an interstate for water. So what happens is the water, it's not a magnet. That's the biggest misconception is, I have drain tile, I shouldn't have water issues. It's not a magnet for water, okay? That's very, very important to understand is that water will not just be attracted to drain tile. It's gotta get to the drain tile. So it's gotta get to this drain tile and or this drain tile if you've got bad soil, if you've got some, you know, poured concrete, or if you've got blockage of any sort in the way, it can't get to it. So, how does it work? Now, maybe your house doesn't have drain tile, okay? So this would be representing your basement floor right here. And like I said, maybe you've just got interior drain tile. Maybe you have interior and exterior drain tile. You know, that would be the best ideal. But a lot of times interior drain tile can get the water away. There's two types of drain tile that we use a lot in our industry. One, the first as you see a lot is just a corrugated pipe. It's a, it, this is a three inch corrugated drain tile. So you can see it's got little slits in it to let the water in. And uh, this is usually dug in right here next to the footing and then it's encapsulated, we, at least what we do is we put a lot of gravel around it so that the water can get into this drain tile and then that water can be shuttled down that interstate to the sump pit and then pumped out. This is another form, we call this on top of footing drain tile that we use. This would then sit right here. So imagine it's sitting right there like that, okay? And then the floor would be poured back right here. And then this would all be gravel right here. They both have a place. They both have an application. We typically don't decide which one we're putting in until we dig into the job. With all that said, let's say you don't have any drain tile. Let's say you're having water issues and you need to have someone come out and take a look. Typically what's gonna happen is, let's say you have a block wall. You go downstairs, usually blocks are about eight inches tall, right? and you've got some water and it's coming through this block right here like this and it's seeping through. What's gonna happen is we're, we would come in and we'd remove, or a professional would come in and remove that floor out approximately 24, 18 to 24 inches, okay? Then we would either put in this type of drain tile on top of the footing, or we would put this type of drain tile in dug in, kind of depending on what we find. So imagine it'd be down there, or it would be right here. And then that floor would get poured, and then be, there'd be weep holes. Weep holes would get drilled into the block. You don't drill weep holes into a concrete poured foundation, but then, um, so you would drill weep holes into the block. So that is just kind of a quick rundown of how drain tile works. Again, I just wanna clarify one more time. Drain tile is not a magnet for water. Water needs to get to drain tile, okay? That's the only way it can get it to the sump pit and get it pumped out. If your soil is extremely, let's say it's very, a lot of clay and, and water just doesn't percolate through it, then it's gonna be very difficult. You might have to put more drain tile in, you might have to dig out some dirt, put some gravel in. There's a lot of different things. A typical drain tile job for us ranges around $4,000 to $7,000 to do a system in a home. And that's with drain tile, a sump pit, and a sump pump, and, and, and all of the other stuff right out to the exterior of the home to get the water away. We always say we control water, we don't stop it. You can stop water. Um, it's usually best if done from new construction. 
Uh, there's a lot of things you can do around the exterior of the home, you know, with downspouts and gutters and caulking and concrete and slope and yard and not having negative drainage. There's a lot of things someone can do uh, to prevent someone coming in and having to do a drain tile system on your home. But, you know, it, it, there is a place for it and there's also a place for downspouts and, and things like that too. So I hope that kind of helps you understand a little bit what drain tile is. And again, this was Dave Epp with Epp Foundation Repair and I hope this video was helpful to you.